If you use Pro Tools and are looking for a faster and easy way of working, the Avid Artist series of control surfaces enables you to take deep, hands-on control over every major function in the software. We're going to take a look at how one of these surfaces, Artist Control, can not only help you speed up your editing and mixing, but maximize your creative control too. As you know, mixing and editing with a mouse and keyboard can be time-consuming and frustrating because you're often navigating through menus or performing complex key commands to do what you need to do. Plus, you generally can only tweak things one at a time. With Artist Control, you can grab control of multiple parts of your mix and perform complex functions instantly right from the surface with incredible precision. Not only that, Artist Control and all other Artist Series control surfaces integrate deeply with Pro Tools, thanks to Yukon, an open Avid control protocol that uses Ethernet to talk to the software it's controlling. And because Yukon is much faster and offers several times the resolution of MIDI, you get a tight, connected experience in which the control surface acts and feels like a physical extension of your software. In fact, you can work with multiple Yukon enabled applications such as Logic, Cubase, MIDI Composer and others in addition to Pro Tools. And Yukon will automatically switch the faders, controls and displays on Artist Control to match whatever application is in focus. To get started, simply connect Artist Control to your computer and select Ethernet Controllers from the Pro Tools Setup Peripherals menu and you're ready to go. No other setup is required. And although Artist Control is a fully featured control surface, you can connect additional Artist Series units to form a larger, integrated system for serious editing and audio mixing applications. For this tutorial, we've got our Artist Control connected to a Mac Pro running Pro Tools and Logic Pro, as well as an iMac running Media Composer. Before we show you what it can do, let's take a look at the surface. Artist Control has four touch-sensitive motorized faders with dedicated solo and mute buttons and eight touch and velocity sensitive rotary encoders. All parameter names and values are displayed on the touch screen, which is also where you can view metering, access parameters, perform commands and more. Below that you have 12 physical soft keys to trigger macro commands. On the lower right is the data entry wheel, which you can assign to jog, shuttle, zoom, and do many other functions. The transport controls fan out from the data entry wheel to navigate through your projects. On the top right you have the control room knob, which you can use with the included Studio Monitor Express audio monitoring software. And finally, below that, you have a key to switch between applications or workstations. a back key to move out of knob sets, left and right page keys to move through the parameters of the function you're editing, left and right nudge keys to move through your project one track at a time, and left and right bank keys to move four tracks at a time when you're using Artist Control as a standalone control surface. So, now let's see Artist Control in use. One of the strengths of Artist Series is the amount of control you have over Pro Tools directly from the surface. This includes assigning and controlling inserts and sends. Let's take a look at how to assign an insert or plugin to a selected track. First, you need to select which track you'd like to add an insert to. We're going to choose our voice track. Simply select the track directly from the touch screen and access the inserts by pressing on the insert's knob top. We're now ready to assign a new insert to our vocal channel. On the right side of the surface, press the page left and page right keys together to enter the configuration mode. To make the next few selections, you'll be pressing the knob top of a corresponding rotary encoder. First, choose where you'd like to place the insert. In Pro Tools, you can add an insert at any of the 10 insert points, labelled A through J. These are broken up into groups of 5 on the artist control, so just use the page left or page right key to choose your preferred insert group. We're going to press the knob top for insert A and then select to insert a plugin. Now we're presented with a folder list of our available plugins. Press the page right key to view additional folders. This folder structure in Artist Control follows the same layout as in Pro Tools. So for example, if your preferences are set to display by manufacturer, the folders will also be displayed this way. Let's add an EQ. Our EQ folder shows all of the EQs we have available. We're going to select the 7-band EQ3 plugin, which comes with Pro Tools. You can also select third-party EQs. 
Once you've selected a plugin, press the two page keys again to exit the configuration mode. Now you can edit your EQ. You can also quickly assign plugins to multiple tracks by using the modifier keys that are programmed on the soft keys of the artist control with this setup procedure. For example, if you hold down the shift and option keys and press the EQ knob top, you can add your EQ plugin to all of your selected tracks. Holding down just the option key while pressing the EQ knob top will add your selected EQ plugin to all tracks. You can also bypass all inserts at once right from the artist control surface. To do this, make sure you're in the top view of the knob sets and then press the green light on the touch screen next to the insert's knob top to bypass or enable all inserts on that channel. Another powerful Yukon feature is the ability to create layouts. Layouts enable you to customize the faders on your control surface to specific tracks from your session without having to change the order of the faders in your Pro Tools mix window. This indispensable feature is commonly used by professional post-production mixers, enabling them to populate and organize their faders to mix dialogue, effects, or Foley channels more easily. But it can be used for music mixing too, such as working on submixers and the like. To assign Pro Tools tracks to specific faders, hold the Shift key and select the Attention key for any fader channel. This will open up the U Control window in the Assign tab. Using your mouse, click on the pop-up menu next to the first track of the artist control to see all of your project's available tracks. Let's set up a new layout for all vocals. For each fader on artist control, select the Pro Tools track you'd like to lock to that fader. After you do this, you'll see a little lock next to the track name at the top of the touchscreen when a channel is assigned to that fader. You can even insert blank channels for separation, or when you have fewer channels than faders for specific groupings. You can even insert an attention selected fader. Now, whichever track you select from the tracks view of the touchscreen, the fader will control that track. This can really speed up your workflow as you'll always know what channel that fader is controlling. Once you've assigned your faders, select the Layouts tab to save your layout. Just select the layout location number you want to store to and then store that layout. You can save up to 48 layouts per project. To change the name of a layout, we'll double click the layout and type in Main Vocal. I already have a drums layout and we can quickly switch between this and my new vocals layout using the touchscreen soft keys assigned to layouts. Even the name you assign to each layout appears on the touchscreen for easy navigation. You can even recall a blank layout to have all faders instantly go back to the original order of tracks in your project. Layouts are project specific and are saved with your Pro Tools project, so you can take your session to another workstation for mixing and have your layouts intact. You can even combine the artist control with one or more artist mix controllers for larger surface layouts without changing your project session view. On the bottom right corner of the artist control is the data entry wheel. This is commonly referred to as the jog shuttle wheel, as there are dedicated buttons next to the wheel that enable it to operate in jog or shuttle mode. Another button assigns the wheel to control your zoom view, either horizontal zoom or vertical track height in the Pro Tools edit window. But this is only the beginning of what the data wheel can control. Let's look at the Pro Tools edit window and the touch screen in soft keys view. We're going to select our editing tools by selecting the Editing Soft Key on the Artist Control. This navigates the touchscreen page and buttons below to a set of tools appropriate for editing. Some of these soft keys enable you to easily navigate through your project, such as selecting the previous or next region in a selected track, the previous or next track, or even multiple tracks. Let's say you've selected a region that you'd like to edit, maybe to fix the timing in the performance, or to spot an effect that's out of sync with the video. To do this, select the Wheel Edit Soft key to bring up the Wheel Edit modes on the touchscreen. We're going to select the mode to trim the head of our region and then make adjustments with the Data Entry wheel. You can change the Nudge value using the Plus or Minus Nudge Soft keys at the top of this touchscreen page. By selecting different modes, you can set yourself up for two-handed editing operations. For example, we're set up to trim the head or tail of a region, move a region, and slip the audio within the region boundaries. By doing this, you can greatly speed up your workflow as you'll be able to quickly navigate between regions and edit with two-handed precision operation. Other soft keys enable you to mark in and mark out adjustments with the wheel, so you can quickly set up a looping section for multiple loop passes or even window scrolling.
You can also edit any soft key to set up these commands in any order that best suits your workflow for the most common tasks. For the ultimate mixing experience, you can customize the soft keys to perform one-touch macro key commands to greatly speed up your workflow, such as programming keys to simplify repetitive key command intensive tasks in Pro Tools. Let's look at some of the pre-programmed macros that ship with Artist Control. Back on page one of my soft keys, there's a soft key for creating new tracks, which will open a new tracks dialog in Pro Tools on your screen. Let's look at how that macro is created. Open the U Control window and select the soft keys tab. Here, you'll see the new tracks key, just as it appears on the Artist Control touchscreen. If you select this button and open the command list from the command button, You'll see that this soft key triggers a macro that consists of a jump to page command to change the touchscreen view on the artist control, and then a shift command N key command, which is the keyboard shortcut for opening the new tracks dialog in Pro Tools. If you navigate to page 13 in the soft keys, you'll find more macros for adding tracks quickly. For example, if you wanted to add a stereo master track, select the stereo master soft key. This macro uses the command right arrow key command to select stereo, and then a command down arrow three times command to select a master track. Now, your routine set of keyboard shortcuts is simplified to just one button push. Creating a new macro is easy. We're going to create a simple macro that everyone will recognize as being invaluable. A soft key that will save automatically before playing back our session. From the U-Control soft key tab, let's program this macro for one of the 12 soft key buttons below the touchscreen. We'll choose the top right button that's currently labeled as Save. First, we'll need to delete the current assignment by selecting Clear. To set up a new command, select Command in the U-Control window to open the dialog. I can create soft keys using all different types of commands, including Yukon specific commands, but for this soft key, I'm going to create a macro that uses a combination of key commands. We'll select Key Command from the pop-up menu and click Command and type S. This part of the macro saves my session. Now we'll add another key command for playback. This will use one of the special keys available from Insert Special. Select the space bar and then close the window. Let's name our new selected key Save and Play. We can even assign a color to it if we want. Finally, we'll save our new soft key. Now, by selecting this button whenever we want to go into play, Pro Tools will first save our session and then play it. Set up this macro and you'll never again worry about the last time you saved your session, since you'll automatically be saving it every time you press your new playback button, a lifesaver in the event of a system crash. As you can see, with Artist Control, you can work with Pro Tools and other Yukon enabled applications much faster and easier than with just your mouse and keyboard. Not only that, you get the same high-speed, high-resolution connectivity and control as high-end professional consoles, at a much lower cost, to speed up and enhance your creativity. From its ergonomic slimline design and comprehensive controls, to its native software integration with the world's leading media application developers, you get an unbeatable editing and mixing experience when you connect with Artist Control. Use Artist Control with a growing list of professional software. Visit avid.com to learn more.